hungry leeches and bungled boob jobs, botched dove into epic plastic disasters, but you didn't see everything. In their respected practices as plastic surgeons, doctors Paul Nassif and Terry Debro often receive requests from patients to make some of their body parts resemble those of celebrities, especially the Kardashians. This was particularly true of Kylie Jenner's revelation that she received lip injections. Debro explained in an E! interview, she started a trend of young girls coming into our office with pictures of Kylie, showing her lips, wanting her lips. Anything that Kylie does, the whole world follows. Another oft-requested body part belongs to Jenner's half-sister, Kim Kardashian. The surgical procedure to enhance one's derriere to Kardashian-like proportions, Debro told Australia's News 24, is known as the Brazilian butt lift, in which fat is taken from places in the body where it's not wanted and is injected into the butt. Get that all sucked out and put back in my bum as well. However, Debro warned this can be far more dangerous than most people realize, saying, When you take fat from one part of the body and inject it in the buttock, it can get into the large veins in the buttock. It can travel to the heart and into your lungs and be fatal. Dr. Terry Debro has been starring in Botch since the series first debuted in 2014, but there was a point where he nearly talked himself out of taking the job. Interviewed by the Daily Beast, Debro, who already had a successful, thriving practice in place, worried that the television exposure could potentially show him in a bad light if surgeries didn't work out as hoped. If that were to happen, Debro feared the negative impact that it could have on his business. As he explained, as a plastic surgeon, you're not judged by the before versus after. You're judged just by the after. While Debro's success rate as a surgeon is enviable, he was quick to point out that no surgeon is perfect, and sometimes an operation doesn't go as planned. Ultimately, Debro relented when it became clear that the premise of Botched wasn't one that would encourage people to have frivolous plastic surgery. He explained to Cheat Sheet, We always say on Botched that plastic surgery is real surgery. It's really serious and can have serious complications. One reason behind Dr. Terry Debro's initial reticence to appear on Botched was likely the fact that he had previously appeared on reality television. And it hadn't gone so well. He was one of the surgeons at the center of the Swan, a 2004 Fox reality show in which so-called ugly duckling women receive cosmetic surgery to emerge as titular swans and then compete in a televised beauty pageant. Amy came to us saying that she felt like a loser. Television critics found plenty to hate in The Swan. In critic Robert Bianco's review for USA Today, he tore into the show, saying, Hurtful and repellent even by reality's constantly plummeting standards, The Swan is proof that the genre's hucksters have no built-in boundaries. They will plumb ever lower depths until the market or the courts stops them. Years after the show was canceled, Entertainment Weekly deemed The Swan to be one of the 10 worst reality TV programs in the history of the genre. Not every botched patient has walked away happy. Such was the case with an unnamed patient, who allegedly tried to shake down Dr. Terry Debro by demanding $3 million in exchange for not suing over surgery he performed on her for the show. According to Page Six, the patient underwent an illegal procedure that injected silicone into her buttocks and subsequently became severely ill. She applied to be on Botched and was accepted. Debro performed surgery that reportedly left the woman's condition improved by around 85%. But she was unsatisfied with how things turned out and refused to show off her final result for the show's end of episode reveal. As a result, her episode never aired. Interestingly, that wasn't the only time a patient attempted to extort Debro. In 2020, Page Six reported that another patient was allegedly harmed by a butt lift he performed and demanded $5 million. She ultimately sued for $10 million for her injuries, reported TMZ. Debro subsequently countersued, reported Fox News, alleging defamation. The patients who appear on Botched in the hopes of having their personal plastic surgery disasters repaired receive some monetary compensation for being on the show. Curiously, according to a profile on the show for Allure, the patients don't actually get to keep that money. They have to hand it over to the show's doctors as a partial payment for whatever surgeries they'll receive. According to Dr. Terry Debro, being paid for their work isn't because of greed, but has to do with medical ethics. While Debro didn't divulge how much of an appearance fee the patients receive, he did confirm that the surgery they pay for is far from inexpensive. 
telling cheat sheet. So the procedure, revisional surgery of the type we do, would vary between $30,000 to probably $90,000 or $100,000. The cases the doctors tackle on Botched are far from typical and often require doctors Paul Nassif and Terry Dubrow to venture outside the box. For example, Dubrow has utilized a very unorthodox method to pull excess blood out of a patient, leeches. Oh, like leeches today? Leeches. I, leeches. In addition, said Nassif, the doctors have also called in an unusual consultant when dealing with some patients. Justin Jedlica, deemed the human Ken doll, due to undergoing hundreds of plastic surgeries. Because a number of those procedures involved implants that Jedlica designed himself, Debro told Allure he's an expert on body implants. I've come up with some new plans for quadricep implants, calf implants, and lat implants. As Debro told Cosmopolitan, these unorthodox cases require coming up with unconventional solutions, saying, these cases are not found in any textbook. You can't call any surgeon and say, have you ever seen this? Because no one has ever seen this. Of the numerous patients to have appeared on Botched over the years in hopes of having their plastic surgery disasters repaired, some have been celebrities. One of the first famous folks to appear on Botched was supermodel Janice Dickinson, who appeared in the first season seeking reparation of a decades-old breast enhancement gone wrong. Described by Dr. Terry Dubrow as his most challenging case overall, the surgeon contended that she was incredibly difficult to work with. But the thing of it is, is that I have tricky breasts. Other celebs who have sought help on Botched include television personality Maria Menounos, former Baywatch actor Nicole Eggert, and Mama June Shannon of Here Comes Honey Boo Boo, whose request for a tummy tuck was refused by the Botched docs. Reality TV personality Farah Abraham also appeared on Botched, but it did not go well for her. She sought permanent lip implantation after experiencing a bad reaction from getting lip fillers. She was rebuffed by the doctors, however, who pointed out that any additional surgery would just cause even more damage. Thanks to the ever-increasing popularity of Botched, being accepted as a patient on the show is highly competitive. As Allure pointed out, in the show's first season, there were just a few hundred applicants to appear in one of the season's eight episodes. By the second season, that number climbed sharply to 6,000 people in search of restorative plastic surgery. I want to look like a f doll, but I don't want to be a f doll. As the seasons progressed, so did the number of people vying to appear on Botched. Dr. Terry Dubrow revealed in an interview with Distractify, by the time the show got known for the second, third, and beyond, we had around 10,000 applicants. Beyond the casting process, sometimes the doctors steer patients from their respective practices to appear on the series. As Debro told Distractify, when he encounters a patient dealing with odd or desperate circumstances who doesn't have the financial wherewithal to pay for the necessary surgery, he'll ask if they're open to publicly displaying their stories on Botched. Often, they agree. When doctors Paul Nassif and Terry Debro first explored the idea of bringing their medical skills to television in Botched, they were adamant that the show avoid presenting plastic surgery as a no-risk, quick fix to improve one's appearance. Unlike previous reality series based around plastic surgery, such as The Swan and Bridalplasty, their goal was to demonstrate the risks and hazards involved with going under the knife, emphasizing the importance of seeking out qualified surgeons to grasp how badly things can go when these complex procedures are not done precisely right. The difference between this show and other plastic surgery shows is that we're not glamorizing plastic surgery. In fact, we're providing a scare about plastic surgery. There's only one procedure that's totally sh safe, and this is from the botch doctors, is no surgery. Nassif concurred, explaining that he understood that the appeal of botched lay with the plastic surgery disasters they'd be trying to repair. He stated, Unfortunately, people like to watch train wrecks. But if you can take a train wreck and then add the inspirational aspect of having a good result or a happy ending, I think that fills a void. Not only do botched doctors Paul Nassif and Terry Dubrow perform plastic surgery on patients, 
Each of them has also been on the receiving end of similar procedures. Dubrow, in fact, revealed that he received some cosmetic facial enhancements, but ultimately regretted it. Speaking with Cheat Sheet, Dubrow recalled getting fillers and Botox in his face just before embarking on a book tour with his wife Heather Dubrow. As he recalled, he foolishly didn't allow enough time to elapse before appearing on TV, which left those cosmetic enhancements far more noticeable than he would have liked. Dubrow admitted, It just goes to show you that even a plastic surgeon can be an idiot. If you're gonna do any kind of procedures or have injections, give enough time so that the swelling can settle down. Nassif, however, has no remorse about the work he's had done. He told Cheat Sheet, I've had numerous things done, especially reconstructive to my nose. He added that he'd been giving himself Botox injections for several years, and Dr. Dubrow has helped him with hernia repairs. 